So reality check now on the fight against COVID. California was the first state to shut down entirely about a year ago while Florida basically over time stayed open. The end result, their case rate stayed virtually the same. The New York Times reporting that life in the Sunshine State looks like a return to normal. Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine, NYU Lango Medical Center and Fox News contributor. Doc, good day to you and good morning. Here is the unemployment rate in California, 9.0%. Florida is 4.8%. Here is what Axios writes, LA Times, California versus Florida, who handled it better? Florida's pandemic response gets a second look from the national media, so then that's why we bring you in today. Compare the two, what do you think? Is there something to it? There's a, it's a great comparison to make because both have good weather, both have a lot of outdoor opportunities. California, and this made me really suspicious, back in November closed outdoor dining bill at a time when restaurants had put a lot of money into their outdoor footprint and there was almost no spread. And I knew that that was the politics of fear. Lockdowns are very problematic because they have tremendous mental, physical and economic costs, as you know, and the benefit has not really been proven once the virus is already spreading through the community, because that's when masking and distancing and, and less gatherings work. But if the, if the virus is in your household already, locking down only suffocates the situation. It doesn't prevent spread. Look at Florida. Florida under Governor DeSantis has been wide open. The case numbers are about the same. Hospitalizations, by the way, have gone down about 22 percent and deaths 37 percent over the past two weeks in Florida. How could that be happening at a time when the B117 United Kingdom variant, which is widely contagious, is over 50 percent of the cases in Florida? How could it be happening? One, we have a lot of natural immunity there of people who have already gotten COVID and gotten over it. We're not talking about that immunity enough. And two, the elderly population is getting vaccinated big time in Florida. Over 60 percent already have had at least one dose. Combination of vaccination and natural immunity has been driving down cases and outdoors. Well, uh, let me have you listen to Governor Ron DeSantis. He was on with our Judge Janine on Saturday night talking about his approach. We viewed this as a virus that was particularly dangerous for elderly people, but not as dangerous for younger people. We banned hospitals from sending infected patients into nursing homes. We also did things like prioritize our seniors for vaccinations, but we had kids in school. We also saved the economy from collapse. So our unemployment rate right now is 4.9%. Right. So lessons learned, perhaps, Governor Siegel. <laughs> Dr. Siegel. This is what I would call Governor oh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, listen, this is what I'm calling settled science. He's right about the schools. He was visionary with the schools. Schools show less spread among kids than if the kids are out in the community. Also, Governor DeSantis intervened at nursing homes early on with more protective equipment, more communication between families and, and loved ones who were in nursing homes. All of that was visionary, but I still think masking, distancing play a role here. I'm a little bit nervous about spring break occurring. I don't think that we can just, you know, put our guard down completely at this point. There's still a lot of cases, but the approach of opening businesses is clearly the way to go in the pandemic. When and it's now been yeah, shown scientifically. Doc, what is your view of these variants? They're getting so much media attention now. Um, what, what, when you consider how much concern should there be versus maybe the fear of what could be there? I think it's the politics of fear. I think the word variant scares people. I think the word mutation scares people. Do we need to pay attention to it? Yes. But listen, Bill, Florida, again, is a real world laboratory. They've got a lot of the UK strain, and yet the cases numbers are going down, hospitalizations going down, deaths are going down. Texas has removed the mask mandate. Cases numbers are still going down. We got to watch the variants very carefully. If we keep the number of virus around down, we're going to have less variants. But the vaccine vaccines that we have cover pretty much every variant that's out there right now. And if, if need be, we can always retool the vaccine quickly if a variant emerges we weren't expecting. We can get control of this situation. We're definitely heading in the right direction. I do not predict a third wave the way that Europe is experiencing Doc, right now. Quickly, we have had Doc, too much immunity here. Do you think that Europe is overreacting on the AstraZeneca vaccine and, and shutting all of that down or making the right decision? 
I think caution is the word here. And FDA, Dana, has been cautious about the AstraZeneca vaccine. But let's keep in mind, you know how many thousands of people get blood clot from COVID-19 versus a few cases here? We have to always compare. What are the risks of the vaccine versus the risks of the virus? The risks of the virus are enormous, but it's right to be taking a close look at this. They're overreacting, shutting it down, yes. One last point here on fluid in California. One of these experts said, say, say the epidemiology, they're making the case that Florida and California, neither was right or wrong, is that the epidemiologist focused only on infection and mortality, and that was the mistake. Infection and death rate. Right. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. I think the thing we focus on as public health people is hospitalization rate. Are, are they getting in the way of our ability to take care of other patients? That's why I think Florida is ultimately right. If you get to the point where you overwhelm your hospitals the way we did in New York in March, then you do need a temporary halt to everything to decrease the, the number of hospitalizations. That's the key figure. By the way, guys, mm -hmm. here's my new model. I want you to see what I'm carrying around with me these days. Did you make that yourself? That's true. <laughs> no, somebody sent this to me. And look, look, the spike protein is accurate, I have to tell you. All right. It's very, that's well very done, nice. Doc. <laughs> Looks like Thank